facing our member. Um, I think it was my uh, uh, school blazer. It was a, uh, a plastic Luger pistol that my auntie bought me. And they were quite expensive, so my mum was pretty pissed off. And a little puppy dog, uh, Tippy. I was about eight years old, walking her down the road uh, in Wattle Grove. And a truck came past and knocked her over. Around the age I was in preschool, I had this lovely little Duplo, you remember Duplo, the children's Lego? Um, chicken that I took with me everywhere. It was from a farm set. I didn't care about the barn or the cow or the horse or anything. I cared about the chicken. And I dropped that chicken. Mum wouldn't let me check all the public toilets in all the parks in Lithgow, so that chicken was lost forever. It was this uh, giant snake plushie. My sister. She went, she was at our house and she just went missing all day and we could not find her and then at the end of the day we ended up finding her hiding under the sheets under my mum's bed. The first thing I remember losing uh, was a library book from the school library um, and I thought I was going to get in so much trouble because mum was going to have to pay hundreds of dollars to replace this library book so I spent a week searching my room everywhere in the house and I couldn't find it and in the end mum had to pay for it but it wasn't nearly as much as I expected it was going to be. <laughs> it's probably my tooth. Um, I've got three brothers and me and one of them were roughhousing and he knocked it out right before I had to go to school. One of those little Pokemon toys, a little Charmander. One of the things I remember losing is um, a little army knife. Yeah, and it's weird because we never, I never considered replacing it. I guess you like personify objects in that way and then when you lose them you can't ever replace them even if they're exactly the same as the next one. 